KZN Future 50, powered by F&B Business and East Coast Radio, is up next. Stay tuned as we spotlight an unstoppable business shaping our future's province. They say it's just business, but it's so much more for us as Mzanzi businesses. It's about showing up every day on every street corner, B&B, barbershop, farm, franchise, and manufacturer. Because giving up is just not an option. It's about the comfort we, as over one million unstoppable businesses, feel from having F&B business behind us. They help us stay unstoppable. Help changes everything. Global Finance 2024 Best SME Bank in South Africa. F&B, a division of First Rand Bank Limited, an authorized FSP and credit provider. The KZN Future 50 with Pavlo Fatidis, inspiring KZN's business future. It's time for KZN Future 50, and for that we have Pavlo Fatidis from Auric. Good morning, Pavlo. Morning, Carmen. So tell us, which business will you be featuring today, and why did you pick them? So Carmen, listen, you do a lot of big events. As a public speaker, Mm -hmm. as an MC, as a personality, and more importantly, you've seen what happens when a big event has all its audio visual equipment fail. It is a disaster yeah. for that company or the event managers. But you've also seen what it's like or, importantly, what it does for the audience when it works absolutely brilliantly. That's what AD Company does. They are leading, leading experts in the space. And what they do is they bring all the audio, the screens, the sound, the streaming, the lights, the holograms, call it what you will, to turn an ordinary event into a huge, brilliant, beautiful experience that compares and competes with the best you've seen in South Africa and globally. So what makes them special enough to be on the KZN Future 50? A word, you must see what kind of investments needed to even be a player in this game. And I'm not talking about you or I 10 years ago when we might find a mixer and a string of multicolored lights and offer DJ services to the auntie's son's or daughter's 21st or something like that. To be in this game, you have to make an enormous investment in technology. If you think about high-definition video projection that ensures it's sharp, beautiful pictures that are available in the event itself and can be streamed and multi-camera setups and the sound, the sound is so critical to create that experience and to create emotion in that audience. Lighting, absolutely vital. And then you have all these interactive technologies nowadays like augmented reality and virtual reality through the screens. Building and offering that as a service means you need to make big, big, big investments. And the big question is, how do you make these big investments pay off? Because an event is almost like a one-night stand. You get the opportunity, you deliver all your technology, it runs over three days, and then what? If that technology is not in events, it's not earning income for you. And if it's not earning income for you, you're unable to constantly upgrade it. It's this vicious cycle. Where will AV Company be in five years' time? Well, it depends how Craig organizes his business in many ways. You know, there are about 15 big competitors in the country. And the way the industry works is someone's going to run a big event. So let's say it might be a bank or it might be a big retailer or a company that wants to address its shareholders, both in South Africa and through the rest of the world. The event manager then puts a call for proposals. It goes out to all these technology companies and they all respond with designs and specifications and pricing. And then... Yeah, you know, it often goes quiet. Or if you win it, you then put under pressure for price. Because what happens in a tender process, any tender process, the attempt of the customer is to try and compare apples with apples. It's horrible once you put all that love and effort and design effort into a tender and not win it. So the big question is, how does Craig set himself apart? And there are two things he needs to do. The first is he needs to tell the world that his son has joined him in the business. There's a second generation. In a second generation family business, there is a 20, 30 year future view of what the business is going to be. And that can give any customer, any acquirer of the service, peace of mind that you're going to be taken care of because that company is in it for the long haul. The next thing they need to do is sophisticate how they present proposals. And there's some wonderful technologies over there to turn a proposal into an experience. Experiences sell more than a proposal on paper. And those are the two big opportunities here. So Pablo, tell us, what can KZN do to support AV Company? Well, let's think about who our big corporates are. I'm thinking in this instance, Mr. Price, 
Price. They do all sorts of events, as well as Mr. Price Pro, which often is run in Belito, but they do a lot of events. They're born and bred in KZN. AB Company is born and bred in KZN. The marketing director, I believe it's Kerry Strauss, would be a fantastic person to have an engagement with. And then, of course, our sponsors, FNB, they run loads of events because events create opportunities to activate brands and Nkosana Macheshana is the individual who heads up the marketing lead for FMB. Pavlov Sidis from Oric is joining us for KZN Future 50. Thank you so much for joining us and also if you want to get involved in the KZN Future 50 you go to ecr.co.za and there's all the information you could need on all the companies that we feature.